If you're having trouble finding a Hunter PGP-80J or you just want to try something different, there are a few rotors out there available that are direct replacement for the PGP-80J. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. So you need to replace an old PGP-80J. The PGP-80J is an amazing rotor and it's in high demand, but there are alternatives. In fact, there are alternatives that use exactly the same can as the PGP-80J, which makes swapping out a broken PGP-80J something you can do in just a couple of minutes. Or if you're laying out a new sprinkler system and you need an alternative to the PGP-80J, these rotors are a great option. I'm talking about K-Rain's RPS Select, RPS 75, and RPS 75i. If you're not familiar with K-Rain, then you should know that they invented the reversing mechanism that is used in the Hunter PGP-80J. In fact, all other rotors are based upon that mechanism today, so no matter what brand of rotor you buy, you're getting some K-Rain ingenuity in there. Let's look at these rotors alongside the Hunter PGP-80J. You'll see they look all very similar. All have very sturdy retraction springs. The can is nearly identical, incredibly sturdy. They're all the same height and they have very similar watering distances. All of these rotors have a 40 degree to 360 degree arc, just like the PGP-80J. Before installing the new rotor, choose the correct nozzle for your rotor. It is a little easier to change out the nozzle before you get them in the ground, although changing out the nozzle once it's in the ground is not that difficult. Maybe your rotor already has the appropriate nozzle, but if it doesn't, I'll show you how to do that really quickly. We'll begin by changing out the nozzle on an RPS 75 or an RPS 75i. Nozzle change out on these two is identical. For this install, we're removing the can from the rotor like this. To access the nozzle, just push down on the collar. Back out the nozzle retention screw. You want to get the screw all the way out from in front of the nozzle, but not so far it falls out and you have to go looking for it. Pull out the nozzle with a pair of needle nose pliers. Pop in the new nozzle, tabs go up. When you insert the new nozzle, it will be going in at a slightly downward angle. Push it all the way in. Screw back in the nozzle retention screw. You want to screw it in far enough to just break up the stream of water so barely in front of the hole in the center of the nozzle. This is ready to install. Now the RPS Select is unique because it has four built-in nozzles. You change out nozzles just by turning this little selector here. The idea on the RPS Select is to choose the nozzle that most corresponds to the arc setting you choose. If you're setting the arc at 90 degrees, you'll select nozzle number one. If it's 180 degrees, nozzle number two, and etc. So while you can choose a pattern anywhere on the circle, you do have to select one of the nozzles. There are no in-between nozzles, so you do have to select one, two, three, or four. Choose whichever is the closest one that matches this arrow over here. Now for the quick and easy rotor changeout. Unscrew the old rotor top, pull out the assembly. If the rotor can wants to come unscrewed as well, you can dig down a little bit and hold it in place with a strap wrench. If the rotor you're replacing is in the middle of your yard and will be going around a full 360 degrees, you don't have to do this next part. But if the rotor you're replacing will be turning less than 360 degrees because it's at the edge of your yard, then you'll need to find the right stop. These three K-Rain rotors all have a fixed right stop. To find the stop on your rotor, hold it like this, and then turn the top back and forth several times to find the right stopping point. Now, when you insert the new rotor assembly, make sure that this little arrow where the nozzle is, is aiming the direction where you want the rotor pattern to stop on your right side. So I want it pointing this direction so that it stops at the path right here. Slide the guts down in the can. Be careful to not get any dirt or debris inside. Tighten the top. And isn't that way easier than digging up the whole rotor? And now adjust your pattern. On the RPS 75 and 75i, you'll adjust the pattern here. On the RPS Select, you adjust the pattern here. Once you've got your pattern set, turn on the zone and adjust your watering distance. The water should reach the next head over. 
You adjust the watering distance using the nozzle retention screw when using the RPS 75 or the RPS Select. So to adjust the watering distance on the RPS 75i, do still use the screw here to diffuse the spray, but to adjust the distance, use this slot over here marked Flow. The RPS 75i has something they call Intelligent Flow, which reduces the amount of water coming out of the rotor when you shorten the distance. That way, you're not wasting water by putting out the same amount of water for, say, 30 feet of distance as you would for 40 feet of distance. This feature can save water wastage by as much as 30%. The RPS 75 is a solid, basic rotor. The RPS 75i has intelligent flow, and you can use the flow slot to turn off the water to the rotor as well, which allows you to change out a nozzle without having to turn off your system. The RPS Select is a really neat rotor with a couple of awesome features. As I mentioned before, it has four built-in nozzles, which you can choose based on any pattern you've chosen. The reason for the nozzle change is it reduces the water use appropriately. You don't want the rotor spraying the water at the same rate for a 90 degree pattern as you would for a 360 degree pattern, because then the portion of your lawn serviced by a 90 degree rotor will get four times as much water as all of the lawn serviced by the full circle pattern rotor. The other feature I really like on the RPS Select is that it shows the selected pattern with this little arrow here. As you change the pattern adjustment right here, over here, the arrow points to the degree arc you've chosen. It takes out all the guesswork and saves you a little bit of time. The next time you need an alternative to the PGP 80J, consider these three K-Rain rotors, the RPS 75, the RPS 75i, and the RPS Select. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.